Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Yarn to Learn. In this video, I am going to share with you how you can have the attendance of your participants in Google Meet in just one click. Yes, you heard me right. In case you are a teacher, then it's going to be a boon for you because in just one click, you can have the attendance of your students who are attending class at Google Meet. So let's begin. What you have to do is you have to download one extension for it, which is called Meet Attendance. Let's click it. It is asking add to Chrome. Yes. So let's click it add extension. This is an apple with a check sign on it. Now you see that this extension is appearing here in the Google Chrome bar and it is turned gray. Now this is gray because at present it is not running. It would start running only when I would start Google Meet or I will join any meeting at Meet. So let's see how it works. I'm going to start a meeting here. Now uh, this is the screen that would appear when you start a meeting. Now here you can see that this extension has turned red. It means it is running now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two more people in this meeting so that we can see how the attendance is generated. So now you see two more people have joined this meeting, one with A and one with student icon here. Now there are total three people in this Google Meet. The very first icon on the right sidebar is of people and then the second icon here, if you hover your mouse over it, will show more options. This is of meet attendance extension that will give you a quick list. As I said that it is just one click away, I am going to just click here on this icon and as I clicked, it has taken me over to sheets. Now you can see Meet Attendance 2020 771846 is coming as the file name. So this is date along with timestamp. Now there is no list here because it is not enabled yet. I'll show you how to enable it. So this is the file that is being created. Let's go back to Meet. Let's click here so that it captures the attendance. It is showing three people here. This check sign is appearing here. Now click here to see the attendance. Now you see here at this point of time, these three people are there. So along with date and time, you can see how many participants were there in the meeting. The good thing about it is that you can also rename this file if you want. Clicking here, you can rename it. For example, if this attendance is of a particular class, you can mention class 9, then meet attendance so that it is easily identifiable to you. Or I can just name it demo Y2L because this is the way I want it. So you can name it by any name and it will be changed. So you can rename the file from here. So let's go back. Now you see a spreadsheet has been created. Then what are these icons for? Now the very first icon, if you see here, is of the sheet where attendance is being stored, the spreadsheet. And the second icon here is in case you want to have a new spreadsheet for the attendance report. So you can click these icons as per your needs. So as you saw, it was just one click away and you need not capture screens or take attendance or note down the names. And how is, is it accessible now? I'll also show you that. What we are going to do is we are going to sheets directly. So let's go to more apps here. I'm opening sheets here with the same Gmail account. 
and in this you will see a list is appearing now these all are the attendances of google meets i have taken and the latest one here is demo y2l meet and when i'll click there i'll retrieve it so again as i said this is the same file that was created it is automatically saved so you can access your file with the name as and when you want it and create attendance reports so wasn't it easy if you really found it helpful do like and share it further do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you may god bless you all this is priya handa signing off